I'm Chuck Sims with the Astronomical Society of Eastern Missouri, and today we're going to talk about how to collimate your library telescope. Now, if you're checking out the telescope, that should already be done for you. You shouldn't have to do that. So this video is really for librarians or any astronomy club members that need to learn how to do this. So the collimation of the telescope is just the aligning of the two mirrors, the primary mirror at the bottom, the secondary mirror here at the top, and the eyepiece. Collimating will get you your absolute best focus. If it's out of collimation, even slightly, you may not get very sharp images. The moon will come okay because it's so big and bright, but when you start looking at Jupiter or Saturn, you may notice that you just can't quite get them into focus, and, and the bands on Jupiter or the rings of Saturn just aren't coming in as clear as they should be. So you want it to be collimated. So to do this, we're gonna need several things. For collimation, when you buy a telescope, it'll come with a collimation cap, which is no more than a piece that fits on uh, where the eyepiece would go. It just has a little hole and there's instructions on how to use it. That can be tedious to do. I prefer to use a laser collimator. This particular one is a Hotec. I like, I prefer it, but there's lots of different ones out here. Here's an Orion one. Um, big difference between these two is this goes in the eyepiece and use the eyepiece screws to push, to tighten it, to hold it in place, which means that it may be pushed a little to one side. The Hotec what I like about those is they have a ring system. So once you put it in, you'll turn your ring and it will expand. And so it will fit snug in the eyepiece and will be perfectly centered. The laser in the uh, collimator or in the Hotec also has crosshairs on it, which hopefully you'll see in the video, which makes lining much easier. So to get started, we're gonna need a couple pieces to do. To take off the eyepiece, we're gonna need a number eight hex bit to align the secondary mirror at the top, we're gonna to need a two millimeter Allen wrench. And then to collimate the primary mirror here at the bottom, we're gonna need a 5 16 socket. So to start with, we're going to take off the eyepiece. So we're gonna bring it up as far as it'll go. There are gonna be two screws on it. So you can just loosen them up a little bit. And then once you do that, the IP should slide out. And I just like to check to make sure the screws aren't sticking out. Okay. And then we're going to put the collimator in. Now the collimator simply turns on by turning the cap more. And then you can see a, the red laser on it. So it's just basically disconnecting the battery internally. All right, so when we put this in, we'll get it down in there. It's nice and snug already. And always turn the face to the back of the telescope. You're gonna need that for lining your primary mirror. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this just to tighten that up. I'm gonna turn it on. And then what you're gonna see is the red dot down at the bottom of the primary mirror. And at the bottom of the primary mirror is a little black donut. And what you wanna do is get that little dot right smack in the center of that donut, which is pretty close right at the moment. So what you would do is use your two millimeter Allen wrench and you're going to loosen one screw and then tighten another. You got to do them in sequence because you got to make sure that the mirror, secondary mirror is always tight. So the question is, is which one do you loosen first? And you loosen one that'll kind of move it towards the center and then you'll tighten one that will complement that without moving it away. And it takes a little bit of playing with, and when you first do this, you may get frustrated. Don't worry about that, that's natural. It's, it's kind of a learning experience, but once you get it, you can see that the red dot is spot on. Now, we're going to use our 516 socket wrench to line the primary. And if you look at the face of the laser collimator, you can see a red dot, which is slightly off center. That black dot in the center is where you want it. So you're just going to turn these until that is right smack in the center. And get over to the left just a hair. And once you do that, 
the crosshairs on the laser will sprout out four corners and when you see those you know you got it and then once you do the primary just go back and double check the secondary just make sure it's still in the donut if you did a lot of movement on the primary the secondary could be off we didn't have that issue this time so now we're going to turn off our collimator we're going to take it out very carefully and now we're going to stick our eyepiece back in now when you put the eyepiece back in there is an arrow that indicates what the focal length is going to be that needs to go on top so let's crank this up all the way i got my arrow on top and now i'm using my number eight hex bit to tighten up my screws Once I do that, I am done. So, that concludes our video on collimating the library telescope. I hope you found it informative. Have fun, and have fun stargazing.